Hey guys, today we're gonna be doing something fun once again. If you are a fan of Loras, then this video is for you because for today we are going to create our own Laura model. So first things first, we're going to choose the model. So in my case, I'm gonna choose Jillian. So Jillian Ward is a Filipino actress and she's very popular here in the Philippines. So what you're going to do is you're going to download all the images that you can find of her. So in my case, for example, uh, I already have images of her. I got it through her Instagram account. And basically what I did is I just screenshot photos of her from my phone and you have to do it manually because there's no really any other thing to do it. Now the other thing is you'll have to crop them out. Now in order to crop we're going to go to burmy.net and then from here we're just going to drag or basically browse uh, through our computer. All click open. And then from here, you will be able to see it here. You can adjust the pixel size, auto width, auto height, say for example, and one-to-one -one ratio, or it's up to you. But I think it's better if we're going to use one-to-one -one ratio. So after that, once you have uploaded here everything, the thing that you're going to do is you're going to adjust it in order for it to fit to her face. So just like that. So you're going to do basically for all the pictures here that you've found. Uh, for example, in this case, a uh, photo, the face is not included so we're going to include that there and the same thing here and basically all the other things here now once everything is done you're going to click save as zip file so this one and after that one we're going to go back to the file so you're going to basically extract it into another folder so here are the photos that i've done i uh, already finished everything here and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back to the same website as earlier. So we're going to go here in our Civit AI and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to begin our first half. So we're going to make a data set. So you're going to click this one. And from here we're going to start so we have our setup we're going to have the project name here so say for example i'm going to type jillian underscore ward underscore laura and then i'm going to copy this one because you want to have it spelled correctly so in the next part you will be needing this one so it's best if you are going to save it so i'm going to put it here and yeah it's like that and another thing that we're going to do is we're going to just basically run this so I'm going to do that. All right, connect to Google Drive. We're going to do that. And I'm just basically going to allow this one. All right, so it says here that it's mounted. So if I'm going to open my Google Drive, for example, there should be a new thing here called Loras. If I'm going to open this one, you can see I have here Jillian underscore Ward at Laura, and these are the data set. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the folder and then we're going to upload all the images in here. All right, so these are the images. I'm going to unclick this one and then I'm basically just going to upload it all here. Okay, six to six uploads complete. So we're going to proceed. Now the next thing is we're going to go back here. Here we're going to go to step four right away. So if you see here method, we're going to change this method into photo captions. After that one, we're going to click and run the cell. Okay, once that's done, you will be able to see here something. 10 example captions for your data set. So we have, for example, a woman with long hair and a necklace on, a woman holding a lemon and a banana, and basically all the other things here. I'm going to basically just disconnect this one and we're going to continue with the next one. All right, leave. Okay, and then and we're going to go to second half. This is the Laura trainer. Okay, another thing that is very important here is the project name. If you remember this one, we're going to basically just copy this one uh, and then we're going to put it here in order for us to not mistaken it. If you're going to misspell it, um, it's going to be difficult for you guys because you won't be able to proceed. And then for the training model, we're going to find a training mo model. I'm going to basically just use Cyber Realistic. I think Cyber Realistic is very amazing. You see here, there's a lot of downloads and I think it's used widely also for pictures uh, uh, with regards to faces also for Loras say here for example we have here I think this is Priyanka Chopra oh no this is uh Deepika I forgot the name <laughs> I don't know how to read that one so uh, this is uh basically Deepika and we also have here I think this is Evangeline Lily all right 
there you go and then yeah basically this is what we want to do also for our images so i'm going to be using this one and i'm going to click copy link address and then put it here all right in the url now we're going to go to the processing for the processing we're just going to basically check this one and then for the steps i'm just basically going to remain with 10 here the same thing with the other batch size also going to be the same and then i'm going to be posting also the image in order for us to know what is the like the best practice for the numbers of these particular thing and then for the learning structure we're not going to change anything there the thing that we're going to do now is we're going to run it here all right run anyway and then we're going to basically just check it down here all right now that's done we're going to go and test this one so let's try to check it here first we're going to try all right so there's the output okay so we have here uh 10 different uh safe tensors and then we're going to try to check these lures so i'm going to open my cool lab and then we're going to try to do something with this new model that i've created so i'm going to upload the file okay there you go file is uploading right now Okay, now that we are here, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to check the models. All right, so there are three model codes here, and I don't really need the other two, so I'm going to just delete that one. So basically what I need is just cyber realistic, so that's what we're going to put here. And then after that, I'm just going to hit this one, and then we're going to wait for this to go. Okay, so the gray link is here. We're going to start for now. We're going to clear that because we're going to mount our Google Drive first. So this time I'm going to do this. All right, scroll down here, click allow, and then I'm going to try to open it here. Okay, there you go. I'm going to refresh this one. All right, that's our drive, and then we're going to find our lures. Okay, there you go. That's a Jillian word earlier. Click output, and then I'm basically I'm just going to just copy uh, 8, 9, and 10. And I'm going to be putting it here. So I'm not going to put everything else because I think that's going to be too much for our cool lab. Okay, there you go. I have 8, 9, 10, and then I don't need this. So I'm just going to delete this one. Okay, there you go. And then I'm going to run the cell. Okay, so there's our gradient link. So let's try opening this one. Oops. Okay, and then I'm going to close this one because we don't really need them anymore. This one as well okay so the thing is we're going to check our loras first i'm going to click this one and then i'm going to click loras all right there you go so we have laura 8 9 and 10 uh we're going to be using these for later okay so i'm just going to close this one first and then we're going to go here in cyber realistic because this is what we did earlier this is the model that we have chosen and then i'm going to choose something that is simple and i'm going to try to copy basically something like this Okay, how about something like this? This is okay. All right, so we're going to try to copy this one. Let's make sure. Okay, it's cyber realistic. Okay, there you go. And then the next thing is the DPM sampler. So we have DPM plus plus 2M Keras. Okay, 25 CFG7. And then we're going to put our Laura here. So basically this one, I'm going to basically just click this one and then we're going to just uh, change the strength here. Let's say, for example, 0 0.7. And then we're going to close this once more time. Okay, once that's done, I'm just going to try to generate an image. Let's see what we're going to come up with. All right, whoa. Okay, there you go. So congratulations, I think we did it. Now let's try to open this one in a new tab and basically try to generate something else also. Let's see what will happen. Okay, um, say for example, this one, I think this is quite good. So we're going to just copy this one again and we're going to paste it here. Uh, the same thing for the negative prompt. Uh, I'm going to put it here and then change this to 25, 7, 6, 8, 2 images and DPM++. plus plus. 2M Karas. Okay, there you go. And another thing is we're going to add a Laura once more. Okay, I'm going to use uh, 10 still. All right, there you go. And then I'm going to close this one and we're going to generate the image. Okay, so there's our image. I think this one is not as an ideal one. I think this one though looks pretty good. All right, I think this is a pretty solid look. And yeah, that's amazing.
And finally, with a little bit more of experiment, I have generated these two amazing images. These are amazing, guys. And as you can see here, the face or the eyes, it kind of looks like uh, this person has like heterochromia, which is very amazing. It's very unique. It's like six in like one million uh, population. So that's really amazing. And uh, take note, this is something that we did not have in our reference images. I don't think we have a picture of her in this blonde hair, especially short one. So yeah, that's basically really amazing. And once again, this is how you create your own Lauras in 2023. And if you are interested, I'm going to be putting the prompts in the comment section for you guys to check. So you also have here the negative prompts as well as the seed number. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a good day, everyone.